to be able to implement a work from home model easily and quickly really only requires about three things. Okay. Thing number one is actually a connection broker. Now you're familiar with connection brokers from the VDI world, but what connection brokers really do is connect authenticated workers, authenticated users, to workloads. So when you've got an Active Directory infrastructure and you need to connect people to their desktops, sitting there in the office, their desktops are, but those people are somewhere out there in the world. It's actually not that hard. The first thing you need to do is install the LeoStream Connection Broker. It's just a Linux virtual machine, CentOS 7, CentOS 8. Now, you've, we've spun up uh, virtual machines on scale 100 times, so I don't need to show you how to do that. But it literally is no more difficult than download the CentOS 7 or CentOS 8 image from CentOS.org create yourself a Linux virtual machine and install Linux into it. Now once you've done that, log into your virtual machine. Here I'm doing it as root, but you can do it as a user and use a sudo command. That's fine as well. Let me go ahead and log in here. Logged in as root, you're going to launch a terminal application if you gave yourself a GUI. If you didn't give yourself a GUI, that's on you and that's fine. You're going to be doing the exact same thing, running this command, just this. This command reaches into the server, grabs the connection broker package, downloads it, installs it, and once it completes doing that, it tells you it needs to be rebooted, namely this virtual machine. Reboot it and then you simply point a browser at that virtual machine. See that that's what I've done right here. Give me two seconds. This IP address is that virtual machine that happens to be running right here on this scale cluster. Okay. Log in. You're going to be doing a couple of three things here in parallel. First and foremost, you're going to jump right down here to downloads. There's one thing here that's critical you need to grab a copy of, the Leo Stream agent. <coughs> you can use a group policy, a GPO, to push this executable out to all of the desktops in your Windows domain. Remember that. We'll circle back to it. From right there, you're going to need to jump into setup, authentication servers, and tell the broker about your domain controller, your Active Directory infrastructure. Okay? That's literally nothing more than what's the name of it, what's the IP of that DC, credentials for it to be able to log in and verify users. Now this is the same exact code that you can use for implementing VDI, and if you choose to do that, Make sure that the user that you're uh, telling it to use here, the credentials you're telling it to use here, have permissions to join machines to the domain. Okay. Now, once you've told it about Active Directory, you're going to jump down here and you're going to tell it about a gateway. So we need to go create the gateway. A gateway is a virtual machine that connects the broker to the outside world. Okay. There's two ways to implement the gateway. You can implement the gateway in your DMZ with two NICs, one facing the outside world as a uh, you know, world-facing IP address, okay, with a second NIC facing your internal network. Or you can do this, okay, simply create it on your cluster as another Linux virtual machine log into that so you can see it here. Again, simple CentOS 7, CentOS 8 virtual machine, just like you did when standing up the broker. However, you run a different command. This one. This one reaches out to the servers, grabs the gateway package, downloads, installs it. 
Once you've done that, it reboots and you run one additional command telling your new broker the IP of the gateway. Back over here to your broker interface, tell your broker about the new gateway that it has. We'll circle back to the load balancer here in just a second. Once you have done that, it's time to do the push installs of your agents into your companies or your, your employees, your workforces, desktop machines. Pull them out via GPO. Literally, it's no more complex. We'll show you one manually here. Then simply running the executable on that desktop. Here on the client machine, grab that executable. I'm just doing this manually. You can automate this through a GPO across multiple machines. Running that executable. No, it's not signed, so run anyway. It's going to ask you the uh, language you want to install. Simple accept the agreement. Whether or not you want to enable USB over IP, okay, and populate the connection broker's IP address here. Okay. Once I hit next, now I've already got the broker or the agent installed in this machine. Once I hit next, it simply populates that machine out. Okay. At that point, that machine, that agent, reaches back to the domain controller and says, okay, I'm here. You can see that right here under enrolled desktops. You now have that user's workstation and that user's credentials from Active Directory in and ready to go. Okay. So now what we're going to do is come into desktops, resources, desktops, and right here, We'll find that same machine, okay? Christian HP. Simple solution, hard authorize, hard assign Bob's machine here, so to speak, to Bob, or Dave's machine to Dave, okay? The second that you've done that, you're now ready to tackle the network piece. The network piece couldn't be simpler. If you're already in the DMZ, if that's where you chose to implement your gateway, you're ready to go. All a user has to do is point a browser at the IP, the web-facing IP of the gateway. If you didn't, if you chose to run it internally, single NIC config, then you need to port forward from your router, from your internet-facing router, you need to port forward port 443 to the gateway VM. Then it's a simple matter of having your users point their browser at the gateway from wherever they are. They log in with their domain credentials from their browser, wherever that may be, and lo and behold, the machines that you've enabled for them are right there. Now, yes, you can use this at the exact same time for VDI off of scale, but you've also given yourself a quick, easy to implement, less than an hour path to remote work from anywhere for your workforce. All they have to do is click on that button right there, and that workspace opens in a browser window for you. As you can see, we clicked on it, and lo and behold, up comes their desktop. It's really that simple. Existing infrastructure, existing desktop machines, piped to users via HTML5 and Secure Sockets layer, SSL, to anything that has a browser and an internet connection anywhere. Implemented in minutes without needing to set up VPNs, without needing to control remote sessions, without having to do all of the crazy legwork to make it happen. 